Hey everybody, Neil Flynn here, back once again uh, with a few pickups. And this is uh, basically for the rest of the month of August, since it's just about over. Um, I didn't pick up a lot since the last time I made a pickups video, um, but did pick up a few things and a couple good deals, so I thought I would go ahead and knock this video out. Um, then I'm going to tack a small uh, little channel update um, on the end of this one, just to let you guys know um, some different things that I have in mind. So, get right into it. Um, stopped into the local uh, Goodwill once again, and, you know, I never used to think of Goodwill as a place to check out as far as deals go, um, until I started watching some of you other guys on YouTube here pick up some, some great stuff. Um, excuse me. And so I decided, you know, I'm going to pop my head into my Goodwill every once in a while just to see what I can find. I'm not going to go all the time. Um, but just going to poke my head in there every once in a while see what I can get you guys saw what I got last time. Um, pretty good haul. And this time I just picked up some games. Um, nothing too spectacular, just some stuff that I saw and said, hey, you know what, let me go ahead and pick that up. So first one, a couple uh, Atari 2600. Uh, for the Atari 2600 that I just picked up recently. First one, uh, Wizard of War, classic game. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> and also on the 2600, we got one of my personal favorites. I don't know if you think the sticker's kind of covering it, but that's Combat. Um, those were both, I think all of these actually, yeah, all of these were $2. Um, Combat, I spent who knows how many hours playing that back in the day, um, back when that was all we had. The, that's one of the all-time classics. And then for the NES, got Blades of Steel, classic, probably the best hockey game for the NES. Um, definitely my personal favorite, right up there with ice hockey. Um, it's tough to pick between those two because they're both really good um, in their own ways. And then just because it was there, um, I got John Madden 93 on the SNES. Just because, you know, two bucks. And then finally we had Boxed Genesis, Batman Forever. Um, I remember vaguely playing this one, and this thing is long. I'll get out if I can remember it. Um, but yeah, I just really like the side-scrolling beat-em-ups, um, especially back in the Genesis days. It was actually Boxed. And complete, so that was the other reason I picked it up. Just to add another box and complete Genesis game to my collection. I didn't have that. Actually, all of those. Combat, I may have. Um, I've got a box of Atari 2600 games stowed away somewhere that I actually need to go find and see what's in there. In fact, both of those I may have, and if I do, I'll make a video and put them up for a trade, or if somebody wants them, I'll, you know, we'll work something out. Um, then a couple retail pickups. Um, one from Walmart, one from Target. Um, got Samba de Amigo on the Wii. Um, I actually had a friend who had the original Samba de Amigo on Dreamcast with the whole maraca setup. Um, this is back when I worked at GameStop and he actually, <coughs> excuse me, my throat's kind of scratching them, grab your girl quick. Um, he actually brought it to, uh, we had the store party one time and he brought it, set that whole thing up and it was actually really a blast to play. Um, and I had been meaning to pick up the the Wii version um, for a while, and so saw that at Walmart for eight bucks. So I went ahead and snagged it. Haven't even opened it yet. Uh, this one I just picked up the other day um, from the Target clearance end cap for thirteen bucks, and that's Fairy Tale Fights. I've heard mixed things about it, but the one thing I do know is that this has an obscene amount of gore and blood in it. So I thought it'd be cool just to check out to see how bad it really is. Um, and then one final retail pickup. I actually just got this on Monday. Um, and that is DJ Hero for the 360. Um, I got this at Best Buy for $39.99. Um, which if you guys remember when that first came out it was 100 bucks. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I played it a little bit. Um, I'm not great at it, but I don't suck horribly like I thought I would. Um, it's definitely a different mechanic than, you know, playing the guitar or something. It's something that you're not used to doing with your hands, um, so it takes a little getting used to using the crossfader and stuff. Um, but it's definitely a lot of fun and I'm having fun, and the music in it is awesome. Um, the way they mix it is really good and you can you can actually hear yourself, you know, as you're doing the crossfades and stuff, changing the music and it sounds like, you know, you're actually being a DJ, so. 
Um, having a lot of fun playing with that one, definitely recommend it. Um, yeah guys, so that's kind of the last few bit of pickups. Um, and one final thing I want to tack on to this video as well is going to be a channel update. Um, you guys have heard me talk a couple of times now about trying to do full-on, you know, actual reviews, video reviews. Not quite like the TMNT one that I did where I just kind of showed, <coughs> excuse me, showed gameplay of one stage and talked over it um, about the, the entire game. Um, but more, you know, let me talk about something and let me show you, you know, what I'm talking about while talking about it. And that has turned into more work than I have available to me, uh, more time than I have available. And now <clears throat> I do work a full-time job, um, and I do own a house, so, <laughs> you know, I have to take care of things, um, real life stuff first before, you know, worrying about silly little YouTube videos that five people watch. So, um... I don't have a whole lot of time to devote to it, which is, I've told you guys this before, which is the reason I came up with those first take videos, is that's something I can, you know, take 15 minutes, play a game, sit there and talk about it while I play it, and I don't have to go back there and edit it and break it down and, or any of that kind of stuff. So in lieu of doing actual full-on reviews, um, I'm going to kind of change and just do impression videos. You know, I'm going to play a game for a while. Um, you know, as much as I can, and I do have a Gamefly membership, and that's actually the the game I just got um, from Gamefly is kind of what spurred this on, and that is the Big Bad Beast Final Fantasy XIII. Um, I have never been a fan of Final Fantasy. In fact, I don't think I've ever played one more than just a passing glance. Um, excuse me. Um, but I thought I would check that one out and give it its actual just do and try and you know, give it a shot and see as a a seasoned gamer who's never been a Final Fantasy gamer, you know, what are my honest thoughts about the game. Um, I thought that would be a good video as a lot of people that are going to review a game like that are going to be fans of it to begin with. Um, and my other thought behind that is, you know, let me just sit here and talk about a game because if you want to watch gameplay footage of a game, there's plenty of other videos of any given game out there that you can find gameplay footage. So if that's what you're interested in, um, you know, you can find that. Um, so me putting gameplay is, like I said, I don't have the time, number one. And number two, you know, it's it's available in other places. So I'm going to kind of turn my focus to specifically talking about, you know, good and bad in the game. And, you know, I may stick up a little picture-in-picture -picture thing um, with some gameplay. Um, we'll see. But, um, I'm just going to talk about the game, um, and I think that'll work out better for me, number one, and I think it'll be more enjoyable for you guys, um, rather than me trying to use my no editing skills and, you know, no software to do stuff the right way. Um, so in lieu of that, um, I think the first one I'll do, because this is a game that I have put an ungodly amount of hours into, um, and so I think... <laughs> I can speak honestly and openly about it. Obviously, I like the game if I put that much time into it, but um, a game that I really enjoyed, um, but there's a caveat to it. Um, if you don't have someone to play it with, do not bother, and that is Borderlands. Um, I played this co-op with my friend online, um, and we've basically played the entire game together. Um, if I was playing it single player, I don't know how I would have made it through, because it's so much harder as a as a single player by yourself. Um, the advantage to having co-op, if you get overwhelmed by, you know, a bunch of enemies and you go down, assuming your friend doesn't go down too, they can heal you. So you're not dependent. One of the things in this game, if you are down on your knees, you can still fire um, before you actually die and you, your health meter kind of does a bleed out type of thing where it goes down, but you, you're still alive. Your screen slowly fades to black as, as the meter goes down, so it gets harder to see. But if you continue firing, if you manage to kill something before your meter goes all the way down, you get a second win, so you're back up. Now, single player, that's your only saving grace if you can get that second win. Um, when you're playing at co-op with at least you know at least one other person, they can run over if you know and hit a button and revive you. It takes some time, and they can't shoot while they're doing that, but you still can, um, and they can save you. I can't tell you how many times my friend and I have been in a situation where one of us goes down, and if we were playing single player, we would be toast. Um, but since there's two of us, you know, the other one can run over and save him. So, like I said, I don't know how I would have ever gotten through the game without playing a co-op. 
Not to mention, it's just more fun um, to play a game like this co-op. It is... If you guys don't know about Borderlands, I'm sure everybody's heard about it, but it is a... a first-person RPG... Um, kind of dungeon crawler. Kind of like Diablo. It's a loot, it's a loot quest. Um, there is a main storyline, um, but pretty much you're running around looking for the best guns you can find to annihilate everything else with. Um, and like I said, my friend and I have put countless hours into it. We're actually playing uh, the, the one expansion pack that we hadn't played through, we're playing through right now, and that's the um, Mad Moxie's Underdome. Um, we played all the way through Zombie Island actually twice. We played uh, all the way through the main game once, and about halfway through a second time, and we played all the way through General Knox's Secret Armory, um, except for a couple miscellaneous quests that we haven't done yet, one of which is Cromorax, um, which is the big secret final boss at the end, and he will whoop your ass in two seconds um, if you, you know, if you don't have a good strategy. So after we tried three times and got our ass kicked repeatedly, uh, we kind of gave up on him, and we're like, okay, we'll come back. <laughs> Despite the fact that we're both the highest level you can be. Um, I think really in order to do that, I think you need four people, but I think if we devise a good strategy, um, we might be able to take him down. But anyway, so at some point I'm going to sit down and give you guys an impressions, although with this particular one it will be more of a full-on review because I have um, done pretty much everything in the game. Um, there was a big discussion Trouble 8385 talked about it, and I don't remember who posted the original video about what is a game review. Um, and the big debate is, can you review a game if you haven't done everything there is to do in the game? And I'm kind of on the fence on that one. I think if you've done the majority of the game, yeah, you can give, you know, a pretty solid viewpoint on it. Um, and yeah, some people may say, well, that's not a full review because you didn't do everything. Um, but I'm kind of on the fence. And I guess part of that is because uh, I have my first take review series that I call reviews even though, you know, they're to most people those wouldn't be reviews, those would be impressions, and I just call it First Take Review because that's the name I came up with. Um, but yeah, they're not full-on reviews and I don't ever purport them to be. That's It's it, explicitly in the title, this is a first take, this is my first impressions of the game. So I guess it may be a misleading title to some, but I don't think it is because I tell you right there, it's my first take. Um, but yeah guys, so hopefully um, those videos will work out a little bit better than the full-on reviews. I, that I just don't have the time to do. Um, and like I said, um, Borderlands will probably be the first one, and I'm gonna start playing Final Fantasy maybe later today. Um, <laughs> my friend kind of laughed when I told him, hey, I'm getting Final Fantasy from Gamefly to check it out. He's like, um, be prepared for a 20 hour tutorial and have fun with that. <laughs> and I'm like, well, we'll see what happens, you know? So anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying my stuff. Um, keep on watching and we will talk to you later.